Well, greetings, people of the internet. I'm back. And I'm back with another day in the life video. Y'all really seem to like those videos. So, uh, unfortunately I didn't get any footage on location at this one. And for that, I of course apologize, but it was the boss's house. I didn't want to, he would have let me film it, but I didn't, I don't want to, you know, I didn't want to be burdened with it. I was trying to focus on what I was doing. So I went to the boss's house and uh, my I the whole goal of this was the way I have my setup here is I have an IPsec. Well, actually, it's an open VPN connection now, but that's a whole other story. I have a site to site connection set up with the office so that when I sit down here on my local network, I can see not only the network at the office, but I can see. I can log into the domain if I need to. I get it. I get an IP address on that subnet. I have all these wonderful benefits of having an always-on connection without having to have OpenVPN running on my individual PC, so that any computer on my network I can see the networks at the office. And that was the goal going out to the boss's house was to make all this happen. And we were installing some VoIP phones out there, got them set up with that, and then. Went to set down at his PF Sense box and program his router, and I turned it off when I moved all the wonderful cabling around uh, in the room, and reorganized that. Turned it back on and waited and waited and waited and could never. I couldn't ping the IP address of the PF Sense, and I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't. Uh, you know, get into it through the PF Sense interface. Uh, I was perplexed, and the other problem was, is this. You know, this little device you've seen me sing its praises before its little mini com computer, a NUC, and uh, with the four ports, and it had a VGA port on it, and the boss didn't have any VGA monitors, well, that I was aware of. I did a little digging, though, and went into one of the closets in his, because in, the boss is like me, he's a pack rat, but he has a lovely wife to keep it organized. So, sure enough, it's it was all neatly organized, and there, up at the top of the closet shelf was a VGA monitor and I was able to pull that out and plug it in long enough to see that the unit came up with a uh, boot fail a boot drive failure and I was just I was perplexed and you know when you get in the middle of the thing and it's getting toward the end of the day you have to weigh whether it's you know I would have had to hook a bunch of stuff up to it I didn't have the tools on hand to troubleshoot it there so back to the office it came we have a special guest who stopped by up here. Up, up. She just wanted to pop up and say hello. She's excited. Her mama's got to go on a uh, on an errand, so she's going to come work with Daddy right now. So back to the matter at hand. So actually, that was good news. That meant that the SSD drive was not bad, and it was, in fact, uh, probably a, a bad CMOS battery. And the unit is not that old. That's why... You know, I looked it up. I thought it might still be under warranty. Sure enough, it should have been. I think it had a, a one-year warranty. But anyway, I uh, I tore into the unit, and, um, well, let's go to the bench, and I'll show you what I found. So you remember this little gem I ran in and raved about and had such good things to say? You know, it's a little four-port mini-computer. I bought it about a year ago now. This is the wireless card. I, I decided, since I was opening it up, we don't need the wireless card, so I took that out. But this is the unit that was at my boss's house. And uh, I turned it off the other day when I was doing my day in the life at the boss's house. I turned it off to move some equipment around, turned it back on, it would no longer boot. Well, the problem is the boss didn't have a VGA or an HDMI uh, I could plug that into. And uh, so I couldn't see what was going on. So I temporarily hooked up his uh, Eero and let that become the gateway for the internet and I took this home with me and uh, come to find out there's nothing wrong with the SSD drive in there the problem is the CMOS battery is dead uh, I'm assuming I need to test that to make sure but it appears that the CMOS battery has gone bad and I'm going to need to replace that by Friday and then take that back out do another day in the life and uh 
show you once we get that installed. The plan is, is this is this is already running PF Sense. The way I've got my PF Sense set up here at the office is I have an IP set connection between my PF Sense and the one at the office, so I have an always on connection. And that's what I want to do with the boss's house is I want instead of him having to connect up with OpenVPN, I want to set up an IP set connection to where it's just on all the time. So any device he's on on his network at home will have connectivity back to the office and and uh, without you know any having to jump through any hoops. All right, so we tore the little knuck apart and uh, the the way the battery is positioned. Here's the battery. So it plugs in there on the system board, and then the battery itself is underneath the SSD drive. We'll take that out underneath the SSD drive and glued to the motherboard there. And I pulled it out, and um, I don't have any way to uh, get my leads for this multimeter into this teeny tiny little connector here. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Probably not. Here we go. So you can see how teeny tiny that connector is, right? Yeah, it's not not very big. So what I did instead was I stuck the leads into the positive and negative uh, side of the battery there, and sure enough, the uh, voltage is only 2.7. This should be 3.2. I believe it's a CR2032, so it should be 3.2 nominal voltage. So went on the Amazons and ordered one it'll be here tomorrow and then I should be able to put this back together and then it should hold the uh, CMOS settings so now there's two of these slots in here so this one is for the SSD this one is for the um, this one is for the Wi-Fi this is the one I removed is the Wi-Fi so I just don't want it in there we're never going to use it for you know not for PF sense anyway so I just set that over there for now. So I'll stick the battery in it when it comes in tomorrow, and then we'll uh, we'll do some more testing on it, and then hopefully it'll be ready to go back to uh, into service on Friday. Because I've told the boss I'd hopefully be there by Friday. So we'll see how it goes. All right. So the new battery is installed, and uh, I'm booting it up to PF Sense, and then I'm going to shut it down and let it sit for five or ten minutes uh, you can see the battery plugged right in and it came with some double-sided tape to put it underneath the SSD drive the SSD drive is working it's booting so <clears throat> I'll let it boot up then I'm gonna shut it down so as much as I hated making another trip out there um, not that I don't like my boss and his, his lovely wife but you know I don't like traveling I don't like spending an hour in a car you know i just think it's a waste of time but sometimes you have to do it so uh, it's a good thing i brought it in because i did have to order the, the little battery off of amazon i think it was like all of five or six bucks and um yeah it so evidently that unit was probably <clears throat> on the shelf for quite a while uh, long enough for that battery to go bad um, which means it's probably older than i think it is uh, I don't know how long it takes for a CR2032 unless something on the board was draining it. But um, I'm going back out. to I So I've returned the unit to the boss and I got I got his uh, everything set up. Uh, but I'm going out uh, next week to set up his OpenVPN site to site connection. And I'm going to share that video with you in another day in the life. And I am going to film some of the, the footage there. But, you know, it, it just goes to show you that you've got to be prepared to service the devices you sell and install because occasionally they break right and that was really strange it's very odd for me to have a technology item fail did i just say that yeah i just said that what's my motto give it to me and i'll break it yeah okay i think you get my point though it's it's not often i have a device like a pf sense box fail uh, they either work or they don't so uh, but lesson learned, and we got it. Uh, we got it returned and back up and running. And um, I'm still glad I made the purchase of this unit. It was money well spent, and it's proven to be a a great little box to run PF Sense on. So there you go. Uh, short, but you know, informative. We hope you found it, uh, you know, entertaining and informative. 
If you did, please smash the like button. If you didn't, smash the dislike button. Either way, it's all interaction, and that's what the uh, that's what the uh, YouTubes want. And please don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. You know, hit subscribe and click that little notification bell to be notified of new videos when they come up. We'd love to have you on board. So if you like kind of my varied content, and we got some big changes coming up on my content as well. Some of you are going to like it, some of you aren't, but that's all right. We can we can do both. Uh, donate if you're so inclined, PayPal, Patreon, YouTube, join function, or become a YouTube premium member and get royally screwed like I am. Why not join the club? We all get a piece of getting screwed together. Um, I, I'll probably get demonetized for that. I certainly hope not. But anyway, please come back and see us again. And don't forget, we'll see all of you on the other side.